Today we are looking at James Wiseman. The big man came in as the number one player in the uh, 2019 class. As you can see, he's got a lot of length. I believe something like a seven foot six wingspan. Uh, see, he just covers a lot of ground, which is gonna help him with rebounding, not even including his athleticism. Look at that. You see the length. You see the size, you see the broad shoulders. So you know he has the um, ability to get a lot stronger. Look at that length. And he's a solid finisher as well. You see all those dunks. So it's just immediately offensively, he could um, he can easily uh, catch a lot of lobs off the screen and roll. And you won't even have to run a lot of offense for him. Also running the floor, he runs the floor like a gazelle, so. Look at that, running the floor. Right on time. Clicky. So, shows his type of athleticism, shows his type of uh, uh, running ability, his type of, uh, just ability to run the floor and, and be an impact player right away on the offensive end and the defensive end. See right here, there's touch on the free throw, so he has potential um, as a shooter to be probably um, you one would want to think positively in his prime uh, around a 75% three uh, free throw shooter as well, and that that shows the potential for being a legitimate uh, perimeter shooter because he hits the mid range jumpers as well. This is a dangerous play right here, super super dangerous. Um. Yeah, usually if, if if a guy get his free throws, he'll he'll turn into a solid shooter, depending on what the team needs from him. Um, as far as a three point shooter, it's it depends. But Joel Embiid is a solid three point shooter, probably around thirty three percent or so, thirty two, thirty three percent or so. Um, you you know that's something we could verify, but in that range, um, if he's hitting three pointers at that at that rate, then that's not terrible look at that these passes are not even they don't even have to really be near the rim as long as they're in his vicinity his wingspan is so his wingspan is so long he can do a lot of things and that shows you the kind of potential shot blocker he can be because of the athleticism and the wingspan and honestly the timing you know I mean his wingspan will, will even cover ill-timed blocks and he'll just be able to look at that chain shots like that uh, that that's a huge thing just being able to chain shots is a huge thing defensively may not come up in the stat sheet but it's a huge thing because it forces uh, perimeter players to second guess themselves even big men as well um you, you know or, Working on defending the the screen and roll is, is is something that he can get better with. But every player, as a young player, has things that they have to improve on. Look at that! Being able to just get out there and uh, contest, run the floor like that, like that's that'll be sweet. Playing with a big man like that, get that can run the floor and and get you some easy plays. A lot of these are not really offense being called for him or you know, having to dump it in there like a black hole. He's just creating plays. Look at that. Just being disruptive. Look at running the floor again. Covers so much ground with two steps and that was, that was relatively solid footwork. And that's only going to get better with, with training and years of experience. Look at that, like a little Euro. Running the floor again. And that's one of the things, like, you can... It's it's, it's never a, a sure science. Um, it's never a sure science what a player will turn out to be but if you see a guy running the floor that that at least isn't that's a really nice block that is an indication that he 
he's going to give it that effort you know he's going to that he's going to show that kind of passion for the game that you want to see and you see that perimeter touch right there i, I think he can even initially come in and make some uh, mid-range jumpers um creating that kind of offense that's a that's that's a plus that's that's gravy but um even off the screen and rolls like picking pops mid-range uh around the uh, foul line extended or so um sort of like a chris Webber used to be look at that turnaround like those like I said, those are gravy those are those are just extra you can see his teammates really looking for him and here against like a larger size team like in Oregon you see you see what he's able to do right using the screen that was solid use of the screen they weren't able to react with enough right these guys are relatively big they they look around six nine or so maybe even taller I mean number 23 is probably a solid six ten or so but he he's he's so athletic and he's so he's so long. And the one thing I think that'll be underrated is his ability to score. Subscribe till next time.